The migrants crossing the border in the Yuma sector are not just from Mexico or Central America. This group of men have come all the way from Ghana, saying it took two months for them to get here and to seek a new life in the United States. Hundreds of migrants are crossing our border every day. This group, including men coming all the way from Ghana, Safianu Maidin telling me he was being attacked for supporting gay rights. My family hate that. They start to sort of kind of troubles on me. People are threatening me in society. People are threatening to kill me. I do not feel safe in my society. My dean also has the scars to prove it, showing me his arm, saying he's been attacked many times in Ghana. I have a lot of cuts in my body. Traveling with my dean is Mahmoud Musa Abubakari. He says he fled Ghana after his business collapsed during COVID. And people he owed money are coming after him and his family. They started going to my house, beating my wife, children. I have 20 children. My own children are 20, plus the of the orphans of my brother. But uh, I don't know what to do. That's the reason why I'm here. Abu Vakari hopes he can help his family all the way from America. As he and my dean both say, the United States is their only hope. But I hope American can save our life. Hmm. May God bless this country. Uh, I think I'll be safe in America because Americans have a maximum security to protect each and everyone, not only Africans, but the world. The men board the bus and head to sector headquarters for further processing, unsure of what the future holds, just like the migrants who have come before them. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Klepp, News 11.